Are you ready? Are you ready, ready? Okay, let's do it. First. Today's session or prehistoric question is going to be about a short survey about the whole prehistory on the soil of Serbia. Okay, tomorrow uh, we are going to start with Paleolithic times and uh, the oldest finding in Serbia and that is from the cave Malabalanica. Okay, I'm going to put some photos so you're going to see the whole thing and then the next day we're going to talk about the first big culture and that is a Lepenskivir. Lepenskivir is Mesolithic and maybe, maybe the most important culture in uh, Serbia. Okay, it uh, it is uh, located on the banks of Danube near uh, Bulgaria, uh, no, near Romania. Okay, on the other coast you have a few settlements too. And uh, it was removed from the original place in uh, the late uh, 1960s because of the building of the dam, Jabdab Dam. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. So, what was Latinskivir? It was a very complex culture. And uh, why there? because at that part of the Danube, uh, the climate was ideal. It was like in heaven. Meanwhile, in uh, Central and North Europe, uh, it was Ice Age, okay? So we are going to talk about uh, those uh, very famous and very nice figurines from stone, okay? From 22 up to 50 and something centimeters big, carved in stone, like big pebbles and then about the characteristic houses uh floor of the houses uh, was very very characteristic about cult uh, uh, objects uh, about um, i don't know a way of uh, uh, how they buried their dead and, and everything how the way of life what they made you know uh, from uh, bones and things like that so what was the dating it was Lepenskivir was about from um, let's say ninth millennium, eight thousand and something before Christ, uh, even nine thousand and something, and it lasted very long up to five thousand five hundred before Christ. Those uh, famous figurines are dated in. Uh, I like to say 6,500, but basically uh, from uh, between 6,300 and 5,900. Okay, what's interesting for Lepenskivir? We have a transition from Mesolithic times to Neolithic times. Okay, the whole prehistory is Paleolithic, Paleolithic Mesolithic as a Middle Stone Age, and uh, Neolithic. So, what is a Neolithic revolution and why on Lepenskivir? Because the last uh, uh, part of that culture is uh, the beginning of Neolithic. So, uh, the Neolithic revolution is domestication of animals, uh, starting making uh, uh, ceramic and uh, uh, the beginning of uh, agriculture. So that happened at Lepenskivir. And we can trace it, we can see it. Okay, the first Neolithic culture is Starto. So the last parts of uh, Lepenskivir are star is Starto style, let me say. Starto is uh, for example, uh, proto Starchevo, Starchevo, Keresh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. You don't have to remember anything or take notes, nothing. Starchevo, the beginning, um, uh, let's say, 
uh, from 6,300 until 5,500. Before Christ, the uh, BC, I won't repeat that. And um, uh, what are the most important archaeological sites? Blagotin, Belica, and we have Drenovac, for example. You know. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about Star Children. Yeah, you're going to love it. After Star Children, uh, began uh, maybe the most known culture in uh, Serbia and that is Vincha, Vincha culture. I'm sure you saw some Vincha figurines and of course it was from Sivo Africa. Okay, so in uh, uh, during Starčevo time, for example at uh, Drenovac, uh, at uh, uh, Blagotin, we have uh, ceramic material but on Belica we have a lot of stone from serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Okay, uh, but <clears throat> uh, what happens? Oh, Vincha, Vincha uh, culture lasted about about five thousand seven hundred or five thousand five hundred until. Uh, 4,500 or 4,300, some, something like that, about 80 years or up to 1,000 years. And we're going to thoroughly talk about uh, the figurines, uh, what, is, what are their characteristics, and then, oh, I forgot my coffee. Okay. Uh, what are uh, cult objects, uh, altars, uh, uh, how they lived everyday life. What was the uh, what was the change? What was the difference? So now uh, we have crafts uh, and we have uh, trading, for example. Okay, we're going to talk about obsidian, about cinnabarite, everything important. And why is basically Vincha important? There were two things that happened, that changed our world. First, during Vincha time, uh, metallurgy started. They started making things from copper, okay? So, uh, just a, a sneak peek. After Vincha, after that, that's the end of Neolithic, and then we have three metal A. First metal age, copper. Second uh, metal age, bronze, during the second millennium. Third metal age is iron, during the first millennium, and that's whole uh, prehistory, and it's ending uh, the zero year, okay, beginning of the new millennium. That's the end of prehistory in Serbia, and it lasts very long. I told you, it's not the same in uh, different countries. So, during Vincha time, they started producing things from copper, not weaponry, of course not, uh, not uh, tools, because copper is very soft, some little beads with a hole for, uh, you know, uh, for hair, or I don't know, some, some jewelry and things like, little things, and not a lot of them, but they understood the, the methodology of making metal and what that was a huge advantage okay other thing that happens and we are gonna talk about that a lot is something that some of the scholars but not our official archaeology uh, it's the invention of of a writing of a script okay we have something called Vincha script those are signs on the pottery and on figurines. Uh, we didn't decipher them. We don't know what's that, but we're going to talk about that. That's very, very interesting and very important. So basically, what's interesting uh, that, uh, <laughs> you know, it's crazy because you have a Stone Age, Neolithic, Vincha, and during that time producing metal things. 
okay? And then you have copper. Okay, uh, copper, I have to remind myself, copper cultures are bad and cost a lot, butchered all, it's not that important. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Okay, the coming of Bronze Age, second millennium. We have a Vatin culture and one very interesting, and that's Dubovac Ruto Berto. It's not even a culture, it's a cultural group. I have to speed it up. Um, Dub means a kind of oak, Dubovac, okay, and uh, Ruto Berto means yellow hill. Oh, that's the benefit of this. Uh, <laughs> having coffee with me, you're going to know a lot of Serbian words at the end of this. <laughs> okay, just joking. Uh, and that culture produced the most beautiful ceramic. Uh, we have Dupljaja cart, the small and the big one. Okay, it's a cart with a driver and uh, with some birds. And it's crazy good. And uh, Klitschko idol, a lot of uh, a lot of idols. You're gonna see all of that. You're gonna enjoy. What's interesting? So it's bronze, but they make ceramic stuff, beautiful ceramic stuff. And you have, um, they showed us how that metal. I don't know from bronze or from uh, copper. Uh, metal jewelry uh, looked like. And we know how it looked like, we didn't find it, but we know because of the figurines. Okay, we're going to explain that. Later on, uh, we have Iron Age. So it's crazy in Iron Age. A uh, lot of cultures, a, a lot of weaponry. Uh, at the end, uh, uh, for example, of Bronze Age, we have a bracelet uh, type yuhor at the beginning of the... Uh, <coughs> Iron Age, we have uh, belts type mramorets. You're gonna love it. Metal big belts. You're gonna be, you know, crazy time. Uh, we have uh, Tribali. That is the name of the of that uh, 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 group. Okay. And after that, we have Skordisci or in, at the same time, Skordisci, and that is a Celtic tribe. Okay. So, uh, in short, this is going, the chronological uh, survey of uh, uh, prehistory in Serbia is going to last 30, 35 days. We'll see if it takes, you know, we have enough time. So, um, it's the end of the cigarette. I'm sorry. Last sip of my coffee. We're gonna have some fun. Don't worry. And you don't need to remember or, or take notes or anything because we are going to repeat important stuff we're going to repeat. The takeout for today. Serbia is the land of Neolithic. Okay? Each 10 kilometers there is a Neolithic settlement in every in the whole country, in average, each 10 kilometers. So that's it, okay? Saying goodbye, like this. Stay safe, be cool, and see you tomorrow.